All right, welcome to Coloma, Wisconsin. Wheeler Chevrolet. Taking a look at what they have. This uh, was Charles Chevrolet for a very long time. Not sure if that's a first name or a last time. Uh, and then Wheeler's name is on it now. Supposedly, or presumably, bought out Charles Chevrolet. Uh, Wheeler does have other ones. I believe Marshfield is Wheeler Chevrolet. Um, yeah, you see me in the glare of all the uh, shots. Trying to figure out how to get better pictures with less glare. Yeah, like none of that works. Um, I added a foam cover to the camera to try to break some of the uh, wind noise so that the outside shots are a little better. Yeah, see, like that's just glare, but in person I can see through pretty well. I did find that you can kind of touch the camera to the glass. Hopefully that's not making a noise to see inside. Now we've got newer Equinox, 28164. There's a window sticker say, only 17,000 miles. It says rental use though, 2024. Yeah, there's just not a good way to show what it says. That might be the best. Uh, another Equinox, but we're on a Chevy lot, so should see them. Uh, I don't see a hang tag on this. These style little cloth seats. Oh, another rental use, 22,000 miles. Uh, 1.5 liter, but all wheel drive. That is a small engine. I did buy a pickup here once upon a time. I actually bought a pickup at their old building. They were still Charles at the time. They uh, would get some, or they had a lot of people that would trade fairly often. And you'd get some really nice trade-ins. It was a uh, Chevy, it was green, extra cab with a topper. Um, it actually came down because it was supposed to have the 5.3 was it the 5.7 at the time oh, I forget the sizes it's been quite a few years ago um, as I, actually I think that's the most expensive truck I ever bought it was $18,000 which doesn't seem like a lot now but that was a lot of money um, in any case it was a smaller 8 cylinder uh, they added set it with the larger 8 cylinder so I'd come down to look at it and for whatever reason, I decided just to go with it. Which then I kind of regretted and ended up selling it fairly early on. This one's 51, 21 miles to the gallon. Very new. Oh, um, in any case, so I sold that green truck and the guy that bought it ended up swapping the engine and putting a bigger eight cylinder in it and driving it for a very long time. But I would see that thing around town and I would be like, yeah, I probably should have done that. But I've had, I've had far more vehicles in my life than I probably should have. That's a, I mean, that's a nice Colorado. 45 just seems crazy. Considering that, uh, I don't know, the most expensive truck I ever bought was $18,000. Um, 27 for this, so this is under $30,000. It was sort of kind of a, it was like greenish color. Nice interior cloth. Um, yeah, 18,000 was okay. Yes, I bought a new truck one time. Um, it was the uh, oh, the GMC Sonoma, that's what it was. It was about ten thousand dollars, brand new, uh, two wheel drive, five speed. Uh, so pretty plain, regular cab back when you could get a really nice plain vehicle these all look the same let's see what's up here by the building looks like they closed at two like well, I like to come look at vehicles but I hate to bug the salespeople because uh, chances are I'm just shooting pictures and I'm not buying one this looks like it's an EV yeah I have those bugs like at my place like crazy 67 miles 
pass the gallon or whatever. Uh, let's see if you can see the price there. What is it? 70, 75,000? Yeah, how much gas did you have to spare, save to uh, make up a $75,000 price tag? That's an interesting concept. Ooh, El Camino bed, <laughs> basically. I don't think they call that a pickup. Yeah, it's a Silverado. Bed is an afterthought. Yeah, kind of closed front end. Let's have that front thing going on. Full running boards. I mean, I would like the gas price if I... Oh, look how dirty the hood is. Got fingerprints all over it. Uh, if I had some solar panels to charge it, I would like that. All-wheel drive, RS. Oh, this has always been kind of Chevy country. Let's see how the uh, electrification changes things. Seems like uh, Toyota sales are kind of winning. I don't know if anything. Everybody's going for the uh, Toyota hybrids. Oh, this must be electric, some version. 96 MPGE. Yeah, there was a price somewhere here. Can't even see that. Not sure if the pick camera's picking up. Blazer EV 2024. Is at $55,000. I just don't say you're going to come out ahead on gas. I mean, you got to be buying it for some other reason. We've got a uh, charger at least. Flow and go interstate. But not, I mean, nothing near here. Uh, Tahoe. Yeah, look how high these front ends are. Probably people can't even see over them. I like the leather interior just because it's smooth and cleanable. It got rough. 17 miles to the gallon. If you can see that. So $73,000. Oh, I gotta come up with a way to show window stickers better. A little bit expensive. I was watching some of these go through a police auction. Um, old uh, squad cars and uh, I mean they're still kind of expensive. I mean nowhere's near this price. But still kind of expensive. I think these are all new. I was actually looking for used ones. I wanted to see what they had for used on a lot like this. But I mean this is everything. Possible they're selling out. And they have oh well, service fees three hundred and ninety-five dollars here. So this one is fifty-seven thousand dollars, sixteen miles to the gallon. Silverado custom crew fifty-one thousand dollars. Although oddly that's cheaper than a lot of places are right now. Getting a truck under fifty. I like the uh center console that folds down although that is a small bed i like that it's got a uh, sprayed in bed liner i've seen some of the fords that uh it's just bare metal or well the, you know painted no sprayed in the red one same thing fold down seats oh it's duramax that's gonna be a little more expensive diesel engine is still highly sought after because if you're driving the thing you should be pulling something 24 miles to the gallon, so you are getting a little bit of mileage. $62,000. Uh, and that's, I don't I hate to say $62,000 isn't bad, but for modern diesel, that's pretty reasonable. Radiant red tin coat, jet black interior. Three liter turbo diesel. Oh, this has got the 10 speed automatic transmission. Oh, here we go. This one is uh, no bed liner. Uh, my understanding is that 10 speed is uh, joint designed with Ford, but not sure if it's really the same or just they uh, shared some of their research. This looks like it'd be like a base model. Yeah, it looks pretty base. 
can tell it looks like the plastic floor. 19 miles to the gallon. 51, 295. Saying Turbo Max engine. Red hot exterior, jet black interior. I wonder what the engine size is. And I am not seeing it easily. Although it's going to be with her. Not sure what a Turbo Max engine is. So now they've put some smaller engines in some of these. I'm not sure how small. I mean, I uh, definitely prefer the eight cylinders. 249 service fee. That's got the eight speed automatic, so there is a difference in the transmissions they're putting in these. Same interior. Uh, it's kind of a dark gray, it almost looks like a black. I always like the darker colors, but I live in the north. 1500 crew RST, four wheel drive. Well, this has got the 5.3 Ecotec V8, 10 speed. For 61,000, so yeah, $10,000 difference. So that's gotta be one of the smaller engines. That's probably why it was hard to find on there, or I didn't see it on there. Hey, nice trucks. All right, let's see if these are uh, also. Yeah, I think these are new. I don't see anything new besides those first couple I walked past. This lot is very light. I'm guessing the used vehicles are selling really fast. It's 2024 custom. Custom four-wheel drive, 2500, 59,000. I still, I remember, oh, that's got, oh, Allison transmission, 6.6 .6 liter. Oh, it is, but it's gasoline engine. But the Allison transmission. I didn't realize they did that. I was thinking the Allison was just in the uh, Duramax. Yeah, I see Duramax with the Allison transmission, 2500 HD. Leather interior, center console, ventilated seats. Very nice, $82,000, holy cow. But it, uh, I mean, it can pull. Gonna pull a trailer. I mean, you kind of have to have one if you can't find it used somewhere. All right, this is the last one on the lot that I haven't looked at. 58,000, so a little cheaper. 2,500 crew cab, 6.6 .6 liter gasoline with the Allison transmission. But under 60,000. Cloth interior. Not much for uh, mileage, probably, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Prices are crazy. Um, all right. Uh, look how much space they have. They always had a lot of used ones when I came in here. Uh, they, it, just because they would sell so many trucks, so they'd have the trade ins. So apparently that's the entire used car lot. Uh, the two newer Equinoxes, uh, say they're rentals. So you got one Equinox and one pickup. And the pickup is, okay, 2023, it's not very used, and $62,000. So I'm gonna just guess that uh, if they get something used, it sells right away because that's all people can afford. I can't imagine uh, <laughs> buying this one. Oh, look, the automatic step. Let's see, 29,000 miles. I mean, it's a nice truck, but wow, that's a lot of money. All right, I guess if you had to buy something here, I'm not sure what you'd pick up. Maybe a Trax, I'm living in budget. Trax and a trailer. All right, that's all we got here for uh, Wheelers in Coloma. Thank you.